Panhandle people are special. They're a different people, and and I really enjoy just meeting them, talking with them, and uh, sharing my experiences and and listening to theirs. And the in being in the news business, the, the camera has given me a place to go, places that I could never ever go. John Ebling has a great camera collection. This is the first camera that I used uh, when I was, uh, the first one I owned. Then I have one here that's, uh, it's, it was my great grandfather's. And people used to use those all the time. It's not surprising considering he's been taking photos at least since the 70s when he worked at the Amarillo paper. This is a picture of a young boy of LaForce tornado. He was uh, in bed and the tornado came and the only reason he saved his life was he fell out of the bed and went under the bed and as you can see the bed's the only thing standing in the room. This is the aftermath of the T. Cullen Davis, the biggest trial in Texas. He was re being released from the jail that day and uh, I took the picture at the right place at the right time. As you can see this photographer over here, he, was, he just got behind him. Look at one fireman finding this fire, and it won me a state uh, AP award of photography. Yeah, in the 70s, the, uh, the Powder Canyon flooded. It, uh, the water came through, and luckily no one was killed, but the damage of the, the canyon was unbelievable, and now it's regrown, but here's a picture of a uh, destruction. The Powder Canyon jail siege was in the 70s, and for two days, uh, the prisoners took over the Powder County jail, and all the people could do is sit around with their rifles and uh, wait till, uh, till the very end. This is a picture I shot uh, two years ago. That is the uh, one, the first place in the world in the Department of Energy photo contest. John Ebling is preparing for his show at David Allen Corbin's Art Gecko in Sunset Center. John's work captures a lot of the happenings and the people around the panhandle here, um, a lot of the times, uh, it's, it's part of history. My wife put it really seriously one time. She says, you have really been blessed. We've been able to raise a family and two daughters and, uh, and, and you got to do something that you've loved. You got to do something you've loved all your life. And not many people can say that. Celebrating the Panhandle Spirit, Larry Lemons, ABC7 News.